first I'm going to show you the um, the process I take with the camera focused out before I show you any of the details. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some nail polish remover in one of these and two of these. Okay. I haven't used this yet and I want to make sure it's clean so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off and make sure it's clean and it'll dry really fast. Okay. I'm going to stamp with black on this hand and I'm going to go ahead and do the stars here. You don't need that much, okay? You don't, I mean, it's up to you which how you want to do it. You can cover this whole thing if you want, but you don't need that much, honestly, okay? So what I'm going to do is go over this a couple times. See how I'm doing this, and so it gets into the crevices, and then scrape, okay? Don't wait too long. Stamp, see? And so the next thing you want to do, <clears throat> before you even stamp your finger, and I'm not going to use this because I want to show you this, is you want to make sure... You're going to do a quick look and make sure that the stamp itself looks good on here, okay? Before you even go to stamp your finger, you want to check the stamp and make sure it looks good. If it looks good, then you stamp, okay? That's the, one of the um, <clears throat> mistakes that a lot of people make is they don't look at this first. They just get, get to stamping. And if this doesn't look good, it's not going to look good on your finger, okay? I already know this won't stamp. It's dried. It won't stamp at all. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off and make sure it's clean. You can clean this if you want, but I already know that I don't need to. It's not ne necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on there and do the same thing. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Clean stamp. See? <clears throat> nice and quick. See, there's some right here and everything like that, but turns out okay. Still have some left on here. After, after you've used it a couple times, you can then, you know, there's some left over on there, on there. You can then go back, and if it's too tacky, you'll know, okay? You'll know because you'll go like this, and it won't stick. See? <clears throat> now that one's already used. Um, black tends to get really dirty easily. And also be careful when you're doing this if you have both your nails painted. Just, you know, make sure you use this side. Just be really cautious and not bend and grab with things like this, especially if you're dealing with the acetone because you don't want to mess it up. Okay? So you will notice that I have this mark right here on my stamper. That is for a specific reason. I will show you that reason right now. So I have this stamp here that says, um, you know, I love nail polish. It's a little nail polish design right there. <clears throat> if I want this, like for instance, it says I love nail polish or something specific, it says, or even this one right here, I want it to be straight. I will make sure I stamp it with this at the top. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of black on there. I will make sure this is at the top so that when I then stamp on my finger, I will make sure that is then at the top there. Okay. The other thing this comes in handy with is like if I'm doing, let's say, um, this paisley here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm in this paisley here. And I want it in a specific spot. Well, I'm going to know that the teardrop end is where that line is right there. So, um, uh, see I have another dot right here. So this is my small one. So if I know that that teardrop is going to be right there and I go to put it on my nail somewhere, I can then estimate that, oh yeah, okay, I want the teardrop to be this way or this way or that way, okay? Does that make sense? I hope it does. So let's let's try this here. Let's do this uh, paisley right here. Just 
Just going to clean that real quick, make sure it's dry. See that? I hope you can see this really well here. Let's zoom in here. Um, it didn't quite come off all the way, so I don't necessarily want to stamp with this, but this is why I look... I could stamp with this. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but this is why I look to make sure, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off. So apparently, I didn't realize that the camera went out of focus for a while there, so I apologize. So we're going to have to shoot this one all over, but that's okay. This time I have on um, Sally Hansen Complete Manicure in Malt. It's a nude. Very pretty. Do that. And again, my dot. There we go. So I know where the dot is, so I'm going to line it up to where I want it to be. Just to the right of where the spot is, okay? So I lined my spot up and, and went ahead and... Oh, Look at that. I'm so silly. Add some black. Scrape. White dot. Stamp. See? And then... Make sure it's where I want it. See? So I wanted the point to be at there, and I lined my white dot up, which is right here to the same spot I wanted it, and placed it. So I want to put this paisley so that this large part is sort of like, it, it's kind of going around and that this, um, the tail of it will be somewhere around right here. And I can do that because I can now place my white stripe right here exactly where I need to. and then aim at my, on my nail, okay? See? And then just like that, you see? It's exactly where I wanted the placement of it, so it's just right where I wanted it. Now this comes in handy when you do straight lines. So I'm going to show you that. So go ahead and grab the I Love Polish again, and you can see that it has to be, you know, straight up and down in order for you for it to um, look decent. And sometimes that can be hard to do, but now with this technique, you'll be able to do that. So what you can also do is maybe even put a dot at the top here of your stamp, or even a dot on your nail, like right here. Just something like a white one that can be easily taken off. Um, with nail polish remover, don't do it with black because it'll get into your cuticles and it'll just be difficult to take off. Um, so, but what I what I tend to do is just make sure it's straight up and down, and then make sure it's straight up and down on your nail. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that here. And again, I'm only using the black here just so it's easier for everybody to see. Um, okay. So, go over a couple times, and then you can see the white, the white here, so I'm going to try to get that in the middle there, see, and then the middle on my finger, so that it is straight up and down, okay? Go over it a couple of times, get that white lined up. See, it's like there. Line my white up again. See? Straight. Now it's going straight up and down. Obviously, I didn't set up. I just wanted you to see how it goes straight up and down, okay? Does that make sense? All right. I'm going to do ombre stamping with the silver... This is like a gold. This is this is from Finger Paints. It's called um, Figure of Art, and then this is just that same Art Deco art brush. Okay. So basically, you take a little bit of each color. Let me get this ready here. 
And you go like this, and then this. Make sure they don't touch because it's not necessary that they do. They'll get on there, okay, with the uh, scraper. You take the scraper, make sure the scraper is clean with no excess on there, and you go the same direction as that. So basically, do that a couple times. Stamp. It's on there. And then stamp like that. And then the silver is blended in with the metal the like the copper type color. I don't know if you can pick it up in there, but it's absolutely beautiful. Just do the silver down here, copper up here. Make sure my stamper is clean. And then just go across it a couple of times. And this ensures that they blend really well and to create, you know, a couple of different colors in between there. See? And then I do roll sometimes just to get the whole thing on there. Um, I like the rolling technique when stamping. It works for me. Um, some people just, you know, take the whole thing and go like that and just kind of stamp the whole thing. Um, I kind of find that it, it can be a little bit more messy and the stamp doesn't come out clean. I've always done it this way. So anyways, the ombre stamping looks really cool. I've done it a few times. It looks a lot... It looks just really neat when you have, you know, a contrasting color behind it. I went ahead and painted my nails white. Um, I added a quick dry top coat to them. They seem to be pretty dry, so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the ombre look again. Um, this time using brighter colors. I've got green here. This is from um, Sally Hansen Complete Manicure line. This is Grass Slipper. I've used that many times. I'm sure you've seen me use it many, many times. Sally Hansen, Hard as Nails. This is Blue Me Away. Finger Paints. This is just like a neon um, orange. And this one's called Iconic Orange. Sinful Colors in Dream On. Use this one right here. Put some blue in the top. And some green in the bottom. I'm going to let the scraper do all the work here. I'm going to scrape this way. Not this way because then they'll just smear. But this way and go back a couple of times and let those colors mix and become, you know, a nice mix together. You see that? Okay. And then just go ahead and... Oops. I smeared it a little bit on the edge there, but it gets that effect. Do you see there? So I've got, you know, the green, the blue, and then in between, but that's okay. Now I still have some of this left on here, and um, what I can do is I can go back in with this because there was so much on there and just kind of create it again, okay? See that? And pick it up, and you have it again. And just add to my nail there. See? Green on the end here, blue to the top. Okay? I'm going to clean my stamper and just clean this off here. So these need to be going in a specific direction because if it's going, you know, off center, it's not going to look as good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Pink here, orange, and let the scraper do the job here. Pick that up. Now you see, they're all going that way. They're not, you know, off center or anything like that. And it's a nice blend from the orange to the pink. Okay, let's do this one right here. It's kind of like little tiny dots all connected almost, okay? So we're going to do a streak of green, just a little bit at the, oops, a little bit too much on there, a little bit at the top there, and then 
a little bit of blue. Just kind of be careful with that. And then some of the pink. See? Now scrape this way. And 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 don't let don't do too many scrapes on that one. You know, look at that. It's beautiful. It's got a nice rainbow effect. And then I'm gonna go here. See? All three of those colors. Super pretty. So pink. And then blue and green. Don't need that much. And then just a couple of scrapes there. Now this time I'm going to have to pay attention here. Go all the way across the nail. See? colors of those together are really actually quite pretty. So there is the ombre stamping. Got my sesh feet. Now you'll see that this won't um, smear at all, which is great. And it just really finishes the effect, the effect really, really well. It just gives it a nice finish. These are kind of, you know, eclectic. But, you get the point. Don't get discouraged. Um, sometimes the stamp, um, like I said, doesn't necessarily apply to your full nail because you didn't look at here first. So make sure this is here. Do a quick look. Make sure it's all there. Line it up. Make sure you got this lined up. Roll it. If you want to do this, you can, but sometimes you don't get it to the ends if you happen to, you know, press down on it like that. It also depends on the stamper. If the stamper um, tends to be hard and not squishy like this, um, sometimes it just needs to be, you know, used a lot. Or sometimes it's a horrible stamper and it doesn't work because of how stiff this is. Okay, so the silicone, this is normal by the way if yours does this. The silicone, it's so you can clean it. The silicone ones that tend to be um, really good, it's like, you know, you push on it, you get it just feels like it molds around your fingernail rather than you have to work really hard and push really hard to use it. You shouldn't have to do that, okay? Okay. Thanks, you guys. Ooh. We'll see you next time, okay? All right.